It's only week four on Adidas Friday Night Football, but the Rough Riders are near desperate for a win after three straight losses. Fans in Saskatchewan a little restless. And this is a group of football fans you don't want to get restless. They get ornery. <laughs> 1990 season was not uh, especially memorable. The Riders were 3-15, and did not win a game uh, beyond Labor Day, and were playing on uh, turf that would not even be acceptable for someone's backyard deck. And that's what uh, Roy Shivers walked into when he was introduced as the Rough Riders general manager on December 23rd, 1999. You know, a franchise that was uh, in a real tough state financially, uh, performance-wise, three and 15. So the Rough Riders really weren't a, a draw for anybody. And then enter Roy Shivers. So we've got a good football team now. We got their fan back in. We're not gonna be the poor little guy on the block again that just let you walk all over us and stuff. We're gonna compete with you and we're gonna beat you. Suddenly Saskatchewan became a destination. It helped that new turf was installed, but what also helped was uh, Roy Shivers' connections and uh, the desire of so many players to play, you know, for Roy Shivers and for Danny Barrett. Suddenly you have those signings and, and they transmit a message and some of the riders are playing exciting football. They didn't win that often in, in Roy's first year, but you could see the talent that he brought in and so many tremendous football players. That pipeline just seemed to be endless and, uh, and that just helped so much in painstakingly rebuilding the Rough Riders to the point where they were a formidable opponent for for the majority of, of Roy Shivers and Danny Barrett's time here. They didn't have that big victory, but they they set the table for so much that followed. And, and they changed the, the culture and they made Saskatchewan a place where players wanted to come. Just transmitted the message that things are different here now. And, uh, and uh, they wouldn't have been different if not for Roy Shivers. Hey, Henry, you throw through lanes, throw through lanes sometimes through lanes. Roy could find talent and he could find obscure talent and Roy had connections but he just wasn't one to rely on them. He said so many times that I trust my own eyes. He wasn't even a big guy as far as let's watch film, let's watch video and there wasn't as much of it then as there is now but he wasn't, he, want, he trusted his instincts and had absolute faith in his judgment and for good reason. He's in the Canadian Football Hall of Fame because he did that so well but uh, he could get a read on a player so quickly. You know, very early in Roy's tenure, uh, Henry Burris signed here, future Hall of Famer. Uh, quarterbacking issue resolved. Uh, Demetrius Maxey, a uh, very talented defensive lineman, signed here. You got to remember that Kenton Keith joined the Rough Riders during the Roy Shivers years, and I have never seen a more spectacular running back wearing green and white than Kenton Keith and uh, that was a Roy Shivers uh, find. And there were just so many of them. I, I look at that 2004 team, just had so much talent. And a lot of those players remained with the Rough Riders uh, beyond the tenures of Roy Shivers and Danny Barrett and helped the Rough Riders. You look at the 2007 team that won a Grey Cup and teams beyond, and, and there's Roy Shivers' um, impact all over. They didn't win a Grey Cup when Roy was here, but they don't win a Grey Cup if Roy hadn't been here. And I think that's a really important consideration. Second and seven. Joseph has time. Looking downfield. Jamal Dominguez. Touchdown! I think you'd be hard-pressed, and I don't think I'm overstating this, to think of a, uh, a trade that is any better than the one Roy Shivers made to bring not only Kerry Joseph, but Darian Durant to Saskatchewan. In one trade, in a matter of minutes, two future Grey Cup winning quarterbacks. One, one of them is, would be named the league's most outstanding player. There, I just can't think of many trades throughout the spectrum of sports that, were, that changed a franchise as much as Roy Shivers acquiring Kerry Joseph and Darian Durant. Absolute genius and are we sitting here if not for that trade i think that's a very good question i would like to introduce our new uh, head football coach danny barrett we never get these chances i'm in a position where i could finally do it 
We've never been in a position where we could do it. What other black general managers in the NFL do you know? Well, there's so much historical significance and relevance to what happened here during the Roy Shivers, Danny Barrett years. And uh, Roy Shivers and Danny Barrett were the first black general manager, head coach combination in professional football history. And that is so huge. Now we're at the point where if there's a black head coach or a black general manager, it's very seldom mentioned, if it's mentioned at all. And that's perfect. There's still there's still steps to be taken, but the, the fact that there's a black head coach or a black GM is really not the first thing that, that uh, is part of the conversation. But that doesn't happen if not for uh, Roy Shivers becoming the Rough Rider general manager and then hiring Danny Barrett shortly thereafter. And Roy said several times that his father told him, if you get that opportunity, make sure you bring somebody with you. And he felt that obligation, he felt that duty. And it was so laudable and so overdue uh, for not only Roy Shivers uh, to become a general manager in the Canadian Football League, but for the black head coach, general manager combination. Now we're at the point where you look, at, look around the Canadian Football League and and the Rough Riders won the Grey Cup in 2013 with Corey Chamberlain, a black head coach. Things have changed a lot in Canadian football and professional football. And Roy Shivers was one of the instrumental, integral individuals as far as that process unfolding. And, and that's, you can't tell the story of Roy Shivers without telling the story of the degree to which he fostered progress. Long overdue progress. There's still progress to be made, but thanks to Roy Shivers, uh, We've come a long way. If you subtract wins and losses and you just look beyond the personnel decisions that he made, uh, you, look a be you look beyond, I think, how he made the Rough Riders a relevant franchise, a factor. I think what you also have to consider is the way he dealt with people. Here's somebody who had no real association with Saskatchewan before he got here. Yet, he really took an interest in the people here. And I, I think it's a side of Roy Shivers that maybe didn't get enough attention, doesn't get enough attention, doesn't get the recognition it deserves. But I think Roy dealt with a lot of people on a one-to-one -one basis in a way that will be remembered so fondly and for such a length of time. And when I think of the Roy Shivers years, I think of him holding court, court with the real birds and asking, answering all their questions and, and having a few laughs and wondering, hey, how's your dad? Uh, that's, that to me captures Roy Shivers as well. As time elapses, I think uh, you can put events into context more. In a lot of cases in, in the football business, things don't end the way you script them. History has been so kind to Roy Shivers and Roy Shivers was certainly kind to the Saskatchewan Rough Fighters because of the role that he played in its history. And I'm so glad that that uh, he is receiving due acknowledgement of what he did here. He was, was and still is a fascinating guy. He's a, he's a documentary, he's a book, he's a legend. Uh, he's so much beyond Roy Shivers' general manager. I want to be a winner. And I, was, I want to be a guy to try to do what was right. My legacy would read, well, he, you know, I like this Frank Sinatra thing. He did it his way. He did it his way. You know, and I'm, I'm in that 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 uh, sphere right now where hey, I tried to do it like it's supposed to be done, and it's about winning and treating people fairly, and that's what I want to be. Hey, he tried to win, he tried to treat people fairly. <laughs>